Hey guys, I'm back, and with a couple changes that I didn't think needed to be on camera. Um, pretty sure I showed this, but we had a pack update today. It had a few changes. I can actually list them off. Uh, super secret mod. This is like I added in a mod that people don't know. Although probably by the time this video actually gets out, people will know. It's Ender.io. Pretty cool. I might make capacitor banks. I don't know. I may just stick with the uh, energy cells. Another one I added was Greg's lighting mod, which will be really cool. Uh, logistics pipes, which I'll be working on today, actually. Updated Hydraulicraft because it was bugging everyone out when they went between dimensions and removed the useless to us minion mod. Wait, so Hydraulicraft was the one that was causing bugs? Well, not bugs. It's just what it bugged us whenever you went to a different dimension. Oh, right. right. Yeah. And that's it. So today what I wanted to do, I made a second ender pouch. Because right now, actually, both of these... Whoop. Stuck on those. One opens that. One opens that. I kind of want to change it. Up. Well, at least the second one. Because I want one to import to the system. But this one, which will be synced to these, I was going to use some logistics pipes. We're going to need a few things, but I don't think I'll make a recipe for those. There was one thing, though. Translocators. Because those are awesome. Especially for keeping things stocked up in, say, an ender chest. So I'm going to need one of the... Two, like, two of these... Translocators one set. So Mark, you coming over? Yeah, I can answer. Okay. So let's craft these. I don't know. Can you make can you put a diamond right on it? Totes. No, I need to do that. Um let's see. The other ones are blue, black, black. So lapis. Do I have red dye? Of course I do. I have 400 of it. And I'll use ink. One, two. And I did make a mysterious magnet because we were clearing out things in town. I'll probably show you guys that near the end of the video. I think here is probably the best spot out of any. We're doing this so we can replace this with an interface. Probably this one too, just in case I want to add more things. You can set it. Dang it. This always, always happens. Falling. There we go. You can set like this up here. And an ender chest. Here. There, so see, it'll start pulling things. And I believe if I put actually a diamond nugget on it, I can limit it. So if we say, because in town and stuff, I was like, ah, does anyone have torches? I don't want to run back to my place. But if I, what's this? Camo torch. Do I really not have torches set to craft? It's usually like one of the first things I do. Come on, Tommy, but I have torches set to craft. Yeah, even you do. 
need a stick. Plot twist, Thomas Thomas doesn't have sticks yet to craft. No, that's the first thing I said to I craft. I know, I know. It. <laughs> but if we get a stack of this... Then I should be able to... I believe if the nugget is put on here... We can regulate it at a stack. And actually, if we take... Turn that off. You can set it in an ME interface to craft. So right now it's using the Mac to craft torches. And now if I turn this on, it'll suck in only a stack. And if I put some more, take some out, blah, blah, blah. As long as there is a stack, it is fine. And what I can do... Which one of these is diamond? That one's diamond. So this one... Now I can basically grab torches anywhere, which is awesome. Not what I wanted to do. Go away. There. There we go. Ta-da. And I got torches. Oh, and I do actually want to do that. Mark, you gonna come over? Yeah, I'm going to the portal right now. What? Make sure you set your portal before you go through. Uh, it does. Yeah, I don't know why you have to do this every time we do a server reset or if after a certain amount of time. But now we need to make. What is it called? Let me start getting into logistics. make a basic logistics pipe which requires a diamond pipe so we need some glass I need to change the texture on that oh, two stacks should be or two recipes worth should be good oh. stone. what no matter basic logistics pipe I think I have enough for that what am I missing Glass and a redstone torch. And I know I have those set. Oh, I hear someone morphing. Bam. There he is. So, what else? Provider pipe. Which, let's see, let's do a request provider pipe. Which means we need this. And then what's the last thing we need is a remote orderer logistics pipe. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. No, no, no. It's fluid. Logistics firewall. Cool. System entrance, inventory, B sync. Remote order, there we go. And another one of these. And then I need to make a remote orderer. Yeah, I have that. And it's just glass. And because I like blue. Okay. So Mark. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say what I did for torches? I decided to just set this up here. To which, actually, I think I need a diamond if you want to take a look at it. What mod's that from? Where is that? Uh, what mod's the uh, item translocator from? The what? The item translocator? It's, it's its own mod. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let me grab, I don't know, three diamonds. So this will always keep torches in this chest. If you take torches out, it'll craft and put them back in here. So the next thing, actually I might even be able to use the same ender chest. 
We need provider logistics pipe, I think. I think it goes. Oh, I should have looked at this a bit more. So I guess I'll look at this and then come back. Okay, so after looking at it again, I need some gold pipe, I think. I'm pretty sure. So gold, gold. Ooh, fancy. Oh, what do we have in terms of cobblestone? Uh, quite a bit. Eight more subtuple compressed. This one goes here. This one goes here. Is that it, actually? Oh no, we need power to the logistics pipe system. Yeah, there we go, Mark. Got it. Cool. Okay, so I could be over here. And then... I could say I want two stacks of cobblestone. And then check the ender pouch. And there's call and there's stone. Nice. Oh. Did I say stone? Oh I did say stone. Because it's not sorted night. Oh it's... Uh this worries me. My fluids are showing up there. <laughs> oh no. You wanna see? Yeah, sure. Take that and then sort by size. Mm. I might need to do fluids in a whole separate network. Oh yeah, and look, they count them in the millions? Yes. It's weird though, it's off the page, it's like 20 million, 20 million, 20 million. Yeah, but there we go. So now I have an ender pouch to put stuff in the system. And now I'm going to take things out of the system. Where'd that go? It's in your hand. Damn. There we go. Uh, that Can I turn off stuff? I guess not. I guess I'll just have to remember what I need. Let's sort by name. There. Ta-da. So... I can show you guys Spawn Town. That's really about it. I did move my MFE up here, added some more gold cabling. Uh, let's go check on an update of the cobblestone. We have an, another eight septuple and one octuple. Yeah. yeah. And while Tom's been doing a whole lot of who knows what, I've been making a lot of changes. Yeah. Do you want to do a bit of a tour? Yeah, we can quickly go to my place too. Okay. You want to do town first? Oh, sure. Okay, actually, let me put stuff in the ME system. Cool. So, spawn town. I did do a portal. It's an, it's just a simple code. But this is where you start out, basically, when it's coming through the portal. We were able to put this here, kind of like a Stargate's DHD. And all it is is just the portal blocks running this way and then over and up. And I have it set so, just like my base, it automatically shuts off after 30 seconds. We kind of ran into that problem earlier when Mark wanted to come here, but I was going through the portal. Uh, Matt did this. Kind of mine and Vinny's graves. And I desynced. Oh, Mark likes being a fail gull. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. This is where I'm planning on doing like an aerospace facility. You guys will see more than that. Oh, and a river's going to cross right through the back of it. Nice. Do you know the reason why he's doing the iron ore? Iron ore what? Right here. He's doing iron ore instead of cobblestone for below it, and then he's going to... Digital mine? Well, he could do that. Replace? Vein. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, I cleared out this whole area here, and I was planning on doing my aerospace facility. Got a really cool idea for that. And, oh, they, they covered this up, but... Down here we have a nuclear reactor, same size as mine, same ender liquid and everything, and same computer program. But it's to run Spawn Town for if anyone needs power. Uh, yeah, so really right now it's only powering the lava over there, we'll show you that, and then the portal system, because I set it on its own network. Okay, Mark, do you want to show anything? Oh, uh, we can sh Oh, I didn't really have a hand in much in this. But Matt made this wonderful smeltery um, blacksmith shop that basically has a free to use Tinker's Contract, sm uh, Contract Smeltery that has uh, infinite lava production in the back using a um, mine factory loaded lava producer. Yeah, the lava fabricated block. Yes, Evan says hi. Yeah, we found this design, and it was actually using the same uh, resource pack and a smoker on top. I really like that. Actually, and Mark, up top here, we didn't really talk about this, but up here, Matt was planning on having the two pattern chests, one for the paper patterns and then one for the casts. Oh, yeah. And then maybe have some starting materials like cobble and obsidian, nether rack, stuff like that. This is pretty cool. Matt's been working on this for a bit. A dock. Ah. Where he has this obscenely tall dock, which has no use. A smaller dock, which has no use. And the small dock, which players can use up with boats. Well, the slightly smaller dock might be useful for the small boats mod. For the hoy and stuff. It might be okay. Yeah, you might need to move these onto the bottom edge of the block. As opposed to the upper edge. That's about it. Um, it's because he did slabs there. For that. Um, so what else is in Spawn Town? Rain. Always rain. Um, Vinny's bomb shop is getting started. Yeah, Vinny's going to be like the bomb guy. It's raining in the bomb shop. <laughs> oh no, the gunpowder. She is getting wet. Almost you. I don't know what he's going to do know. up here. I don't know why that went French. Apparently bomb salesmen are French. <laughs> yes, man. All the missiles will get wet. This is this we're kind of leaving here is a heritage site. Because this is, as you guys know, where we started our first day here. With, I think this is Vinny. Yep. And then Stuart's the big tree. Yep. Yeah, so we're leaving that as a heritage site. Matt built this a bit ago as spawn. So I made strawberries. Mmm, strawberries. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I think I remember seeing that. And there's this little place where you actually spawn at, and there's a walkway going down, and that way's Matt's. And I seem to have that going. There. So, Mark, do you have any ideas for a spawn shop not yet i actually haven't thought about it too much mark did the plaza and it looks yeah. really cool even without the resource pack it looks awesome Uh, Matt did some lighting here. I might swap out some lighting for roads using Greg's lighting now. 
Uh, do you want to show off your place? Yeah, we can go there. Okay. I really like having the remote order now. That's awesome. So I haven't done a lot of aesthetic work to my place except for like one hallway. Okay, your portal someone set up is pink and green. Whenever you dial your place. Hmm. Uh, we can go down this way. Whoosh. I'm gonna turn my sound up a bit now. He has a spawner room, which we're gonna work on. Oh, he blizzes. Yeah, right now. Ugh, I hate their voices. I hate their voices. Go away. Anyway, so I've moved all my power production downstairs. Okay. And create a battery backup cell. Oh, wow. This is new. Yeah, this is going to be for the reactor. And then, rea like, yes. reactor control center here or something? Yep. Exactly. Nice. Okay. Uh, Up you here have I'm a... rocking Tom's not currently functioning um, power script. Yeah. It shows your current levels of power in your cells. You have to connect each cell with a computer craft cable. Once I refine this program, I'll probably post on Reddit and do a spotlight video on these. Because I have a few of them. Okay. So up one. Yeah. Now my crown jewel. Oh, this wait. Hallway. Your uh, boiler program. It's, oh, not, yeah. it's not critical. I don't know why they're doing that. I think it's our server. Okay, so this is my crown jewel. This hallway is a direct replica, as best as I can make in Minecraft, of the hallway to Cerebro in X-Men. The side ones will be populated by my storage systems and crafting systems through ME. Yeah, he's moving his ME stuff in here, as opposed to that beginning hallway bit. And then at the very end of the hallway, now all the doorways aren't finished because I'm going to use Galactic Craft doors, but I haven't been to the movie yet, is Cerebro. Now this here is a fully automated BC laser crafting system. So right now I'm going to oh, my thing is not in my hand properly because of desync. Okay, you stay here and I'll go request some damage chips that you made or something. Okay. Yeah, I really like that facades work on interfaces. Awesome touch. Actually, I think I'll just make a simple gate. Uh, begin so that should be building gates no oh there now it goes it is. Done. that's done that was five gates five a single diamond ship set takes anywhere from one to four seconds nice okay so this interface you have set up to auto craft pipe plugs one gate and redstone chip sets. These are all the oddballs that um, are simple patterns and therefore cross over with some of the more advanced patterns. Hmm. Then the far, other two ones, I have all the advanced patterns that take multiple items. See, the, these ones take one redstone or one redstone chip set or one uh, cobblestone, cobblestone structure pipe, and I'll screw with the other recipes so they have to be isolated to this guy. Now, this setup is using over seven, or it's 7.2 stacks of lasers, which is over, I guess, um, 14 stacks of diamonds, which took me over a day with the digital miner to go around and mine. Nice. The whole system is powered by hardened energy cells that are connected to my main system. And uh, me and Thomas oh, set up. I left click to more. Yeah, me and Thomas set up the auto crafting to uh, allow power through when work is scheduled. Using the build so. craft gates, and we figured why not use ME P2P terminals just to make yeah, everything Yeah, so I only had to run one cable coming from the terminus all the way here. Now, right here, we were actually using five different redstone systems ME to um, red alloy to my, uh, Minecraft vanilla. To red net. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe four. Four, sorry. But yeah, these are, these are all Build the lasers which are hidden, beside, hidden uh, outside the facade uh, sphere. Here, you can get... I know. I remember you can get over this way. My way back. Yeah, you can. Woo. So yeah, hardened energy cells. Because he realized he didn't need redstone. Yeah, because each one can only, or each set of nine can only use up to 360 RF per tick, which is less than uh, hardened 
outputs. Now, I guess the redstone, if you really want to do maximum amount of storage, that'd be fine, but it's not like, as long as you're not constantly crafting chipsets, you should be good. Yeah. And then this leadstone conduit goes over to his honor, which has been set up for quite a while. Yeah, I, I got that going pretty early on, just so I'd have, well, lots of other things to use. Yeah, he hasn't hooked it up to his ME system, but, uh... No. Oh, you did clear out the chest. Yeah, I cleared it out. one spawn. vanilla spawner, which is good enough. I've been trying to convince him to put cursed earth in there. Yeah, I just gotta get around to it and stuff. Yeah, okay. So, he's been working on Galacticraft, because, as he said, he wants to get the doors. The automatically opening and closing really cool doors that you need really airlocks lucky iron to get i wonder if you could use uu -U matter uh to make meteoric iron yeah i don't think so no no uu -U matter doesn't show it there mark because you have to scan items oh so you have to get one maybe two of them i'd probably test it in single player before you use any that you get in game but that would be a lot better than waiting. To just be using your stored power. For it. So anything else? No, I think that's most of the improvements I've made. He has what, three disk drives and Yeah, just some enemy stuff. Oh I have like the wireless terminal, but wireless terminal is DBS for his portals. Machines here. What about upstairs? This is so messy. Oh, I, I, I plan to move everything. This is going to be my manual craft layer. I'll put all of the stuff that I plan to manually craft, or all the machines I need to like manually craft random things that I won't have in my auto crafter. And then the floor below us right now, I plan to have that as my factory where I'll have every single um, process I want um, automated. Okay. Your smeltery with a clock, just like a lot of people do. And then I found out an item transfer node works with this. And pretty nicely, too, especially if you're getting a bunch of clear glass. Yeah. Uh, upstairs one? Yeah. Matt's mm. awesome statue that I made by clicking random. Yeah. <laughs> random. I did. I just chose random position, and I did that. Nice. Mark's awesome vanilla door. Before I really start any of the smart side. Uh, oh, yeah, all my animals. I had to recapture them because a tornado went through here and swept them away. Apparently, this is Kansas. Kansas? Yep. I'm in, Can I'm in the Kansas of the server. Oh. Here's my automated glowstone system. Oh, where's that? Well, not automated, but glowstone production. You're more into this mod than I am, and you're just using it for crafting. I have, I have a single altar and yeah, a distiller. He, he does it for making glowstone, so he doesn't have to put it together. Yeah, because I have blaze rods and I got gunpowder. But you apparently not. Damage? Yeah, but apparently not food. It's one thing I don't have. Do you want some apples? Not good. Yeah, so those are the recent additions to my abode. Oh, what about up here? Because I don't think we showed any of your house before, actually. Or very um, little. We have this guy, which has managed to last. Ages. Is there, oh, I can move this. This was in the pre-server days. The holy cat. Just as a joke, I kept putting a name tag on, because I found out a name tag adds 10 health. So I just switched between two stacks of name tags. And then we finally named it the Holy Cow. Because Mark said a Holy Cow. How much health does this guy have? <laughs> and somehow this guy's lasted several tornado storms. Yeah, he hasn't. He, I guess he gets caught in the rafters. Yeah, he just gets caught right here and doesn't go anywhere. You could put invisible air. Or, uh, yeah, but I like sometimes flying into here and grabbing blueberries and stuff. Air. 
Yeah, and then Mark's main food source. Yeah. Here it is. And Carpenter's doors with no textures. Shh, I like them. Okay. Uh, his tree farm, which we saw the outside. There. It's almost always breaking trees, I just realized. Huh? It's almost always breaking trees, this guy. Oh, it always is. That's the only way I can get that uh, three charcoal per. Um, I guess three charcoal every. Three, three, world anchor three, with char three charcoal every five seconds. This world anchor, which is almost out of ender pearls. Yeah, that means the other ones are out of ender pearls. Because this one actually had two excess. Oh. Okay. Um, that's the important one. Oh, down here. I figured this out. The sludge boiler, but if you put an enemy chest right beside it, it automatically exports to the chest, but not into your enemy system. So you don't have like 20,000. Well, no, you probably still have 20,000. Yeah, I have 20,000 clay. 6,000 ash. Oh, 6,000. And then this charcoal system. And all it does is just automatically export all the wood that he gets. Yeah, we had a problem with item docks, and we actually had to go around his base with MC Edit, trying to find out with what was the problem. It ended up being that? his item docks going to his steam boiler. So, and it was at that point that I started uh, uh, putting it all in ME. Yeah, and I replaced all of mine with ME, as you guys probably saw, and I may have said that before, actually. I really like Cerebro. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad it just can't be bigger, but that's as big as you can make it with the build craft lasers uh, distance before they stop working. Yeah, well, if you're something like a bat, then it's a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's about it. Any hidden things you want to show? No, I haven't been making any secret things. I've been just doing a lot of digging. You have a witch's oven just sitting here? Yeah, that was necessary to make the uh, distillery. I need to get into witchery. Witchery's awesome. So, why are you making such a big reactor? Because I can. It won't be efficient. Are you going to use gel cryothium for it? Heck yeah. I'm guessing you want the reactor program for computers. I know, I know. So I you're not wasting yellorium. Yeah, obviously. I don't know why no one else... Well, I've seen other people do it, but I've tried their program and it either is broken or just doesn't work. Why don't I make one that's optimized for steam? Because I still think I'm going to do it with the steam turbines and stuff. So you could do like half of this steam turbine, half of this reactor. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, just for uh, giggles, I, I want to look this up. XP. I want to grab one liquid XP. There it is. And Thomas crashed. <laughs> oh, there it is on the floor. Can I place it? Nope. There it is. Yeah. So now I know kind of how they, they store it. They store it in items. Yeah, bombs. Yeah. I got an idea in mind for an auto miner, so I might do that at some point. Uh, and I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I guess I'll uh, hmm. see you guys in the next video. Where'd you go, Mark? I'm trying to put it into a fluid transposer. <laughs> it won't work. Bye-bye.